Welcome to Tell You Later, the show where you learn so little about so much and vice versa. Sincere thanks to all those who support us on Patreon. See the full list at the end of the show. By the way, there's always room for more. And don't forget to like and subscribe to their channel. We haven't got a title song for this show, so we're singing this thing instead. Okay. It's really just a substitute, nonetheless. The melody may stay in your head. Oh, I hope so. Cause it's a tune. It's a tune. You'll love to croon. You'll love to croon. Ah, but there's one thing you should know. We have to confess we do not possess a title song for this show. Hey. Believe it or not, we haven't got a title song for this show. Oops. <laughs> we work not with, to name yeah. drop, but <laughs> we, we, why well, not? Yeah, I mean, like kind of part of our part of what our our draw is is that we're um, an isolated, secure, safe facility, and so we get a lot of high-profile clients when they come on the property. They're the only person there. And, you know, you can go to our website and see we've had, you know, like, like a great example, you know, we had, we had Chadwick Boseman in Who? Chadwick Boseman, Black Panther. Right. From Avengers and everything. That's right. All those yeah. movies and, where people are loud. Yeah, yeah yes. exactly. <laughs> and he was in the day after the Avengers premiere in Hollywood and he got dropped off, walked down the sidewalk with his backpack. We opened the gate. He came in. Like for entertainment tonight or something? Um, he was like doing, uh, he was narrating an ESPN documentary. Oh. Um, and, and, and how did they find? It was I mean referrals? How did, referrals. We don't advertise. We don't talk about it. Um, we're on. If you search on Google, you'll find us as recording studios. But a lot, lot, lot of word of mouth. Blown away. I'm shocked every day that somebody calls us like, "Hey, so and so mentioned." I was like, oh, "All right, let's let's do it. Come on into the studio. We'll get you set up." But um, they have yeah. to like dogs, right? Yeah, I got like well, the dog is in the house. Dogs yeah. inside. Okay, so, so that's negotiable. Yeah. It's negotiable. We, we we do have a que we have a COVID questionnaire, and one of those questions is about allergies. So if somebody has dog allergies, a dog sits outside. Does does U V A C B U V C do, mm. do dog hair? Doesn't doesn't affect dander the same way? Like you have to have like I think it's more HEPA filters uh -huh. um, that'll affect like. And you have that too, I bet. You got HEPA filters in, I, yeah. I, I, you have, every, you, like, mm. you just... But, well, I mean, you know, and, and if you want to stay in business and, and be, you know, you have to be flexible and you have to be able to do the things that need to be done to, you know, again, like, we're all voice actors, so I want to have a clear, I want to have a clear environment to work in. I'm in that space all day. I think so, I'm putting HEPA that, you know, filter on my Christmas list. Yeah. yeah, they're great. HEPA. There's a great one. Yeah, I get, you know, two of them I get off of Amazon that are real, you know, like... High um, high quality HEPA filters. You can just pop the filter out, replace them every every few months or whenever the filter gets. You know, okay, gets crew of mm -hmm. one, HEPA filter. HEPA filters. Okay, it's great. something else that mm -hmm. I have been because I'm yeah. I'm online watching, seeing mm -hmm. what's going on. I may mm -hmm. not be contributing so much, but I did notice someone said, "Hey, Tim Friedlander is really good at flipping jobs." Mm -hmm. Converting so can jobs. you converting? Converting not jobs. It's not a house, but right. can, can you explain? Sure. So flipping and converting are used a lot. They're two separate things. Really? Um. So converting oh, a job. Me. Let's okay. find out. Well, let's, so let's find out. This is this is changing a job from non-union to union is what the what the what generally what this means. And converting a job is we can act as a third party signatory which means we'll take on the responsibility of making You're sure the talent doing everything yeah. you said oh this there's somebody who does that sign me up for that yeah. there's somebody with this job sign yeah. me up for that. i'm going to do everything i am a one yeah. you are we'll, a one we'll, stop we'll shop do it all we'll do it all well i i tried to convert some jobs that didn't like the process and i figured that, that there had to be an easier way to do it for voice actors to and find so, a, a signatory yeah. to find a signatory and the signatory we worked with you know i wasn't entirely pleased with the process it didn't it seemed like it was way too complicated it was more difficult than it needed to be mm -hmm. and i figured that there had to be an easier way to make it i've been a signatory know. before mm -hmm. actually yeah, yeah. for a dubbing and there's, and there's a lot of work right you know you know like you have you know you're dealing with all the contracts you make sure contracts are turned in make sure the talent gets paid make sure talent is safe make sure that all of the the um requirements are met make sure that the that the the pay is going to be correct that pension health gets gets handled 
um, all those things. Um, so converting a job. I think I put is, it yeah. out of my mind. Yeah. I don't remember all <laughs> yep. that, but I'm yep. sure that was true. And converting I'm sure a, I did it right, whoever I pay. If you got it, you got it done. You, I got and the, the reason you. is you yeah. have to have, you have to have a relation, a signatory is a mm -hmm. company, like a, not a fiduciary, but a, a, a payroll type yeah, we're, entity we're, that works mm -hmm. with the union to make sure that things are done properly yeah. according to union correct stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah i guess we're, and we, we would be the producer of record i believe is what it's how it's referred mm. to and then the payroll company is the employer of record uh, so if you get paid through a payroll company uh, that's separate, then they, they're the employer of record. Okay, on that. so converting um, means... So converting means that we can take your non-union job, we can invoice your producer, the producer will pay us and we'll contribute for you on your behalf. And you charge a fee. And we charge a fee. And you get to cover pension health, payroll taxes, um, and signatory fees is what we charge. If you flip a job, you get the producer to go union and become a, a signatory themselves. Ah. And so that's flipping a job. Have you been very job. successful? We converted about $400,000 Wait, we just said flipping. Year. Don't. We don't. converted. We converted. You converted. You converted. Yep. We converted about $400,000 last year for voice talent. Me. Okay. So the converted you. So we took those jobs that voice actors were working on uh -huh. and helped them contribute to the pension health. Okay. And when you do that. Mm -hmm. You actually, because normally the producers will mm -hmm. contribute to your pension, your payroll, Correct. your pension, mm -hmm. your health insurance. Mm -hmm. If you convert it, mm -hmm. usually the onus is on the actor to pay out of, at least in it's, my experience, still, nobody's paid extra. I've had, it's had to come mm -hmm. out of my payroll. Yes, yes and no. You... It would when That's you. That's about eighteen percent, right? Uh, in with payroll, with taxes and signatory fee and P and H, it's about forty-eight percent additional, on top of the years of base scale that you need to make for that job. Um, there's a lot of fees involved, and normally, what you know, what you would do is that if you're working on a union job, they say your talent, you're going to get paid five hundred dollars, and the talent gets paid five hundred dollars, and then they would bill the producer for the additional fees. If you're converting a job, you as the talent would negotiate to have those fees included in their pay. And so, are they willing to do that? Mm -hmm. yeah, we, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, a, a lot of that's times, great, the, a lot of times, because I'm going to go yeah. to you from now on. Yeah, uh, well, a, a lot of times, non-union pay is higher or considerably higher than the sag after minimum. Yes, that so um, it can qualify. So but, it can but, qualify. but if mm -hmm. you're doing a, what I have discovered, if you're doing mm -hmm. a project with multiple voices, everybody has to everybody be on has board. To be yep, the entire, a, yep. But if you're by yourself doing an mm -hmm. audio book, doing yep. a narration or a corporate thing, then mm -hmm. it's much easier. Absolutely. Corporate, corporate co-ed industrial, corporate mm -hmm. educational industrial jobs, non-broadcast. And why would somebody do that? Well, if you're young, mm -hmm. I would say it's good to control contribute to your pension mm -hmm. if you can do that and invest yeah. it's anything you can do to put away money for your future mm -hmm. you Absolutely. may not know this about me because mm -hmm. you think i'm just a piccolo <laughs> but i'm actually <laughs> i have my life insurance license really? and That's and amazing. my securities amazing. license okay so okay. we all do and so does crew of one and nice. why okay. because like Kind of like you, I found that so many people are independent and they mm -hmm. don't know what they need to take care of their families. Yep. They don't have life insurance if something happens to them. If you mm -hmm. don't have money saved, your family is in a pickle. Yeah. And so the younger you are, the cheaper it is. Mm -hmm. And so I found that I wanted to be able to offer that service to people. I mean, you yep. don't have to get it for me, anybody. I'm only licensed in a couple states. But if you're mm -hmm. watching and you don't have it, I highly recommend yeah. putting those things in place because yeah. you never know. No, you never know. Oh, oh, you've got your new uh, Tell You Later tote bag. Isn't it cute? I love yeah, it. Did that. you get that at Merchelator? I sure did. Merchelator.com. It's so cute. It, look. Super tell cute. Tell Ya Later bag. And That's it's got awesome. everything in it. Do I they got... have hats? You Absolutely. never know. Nope. So anyway, why am I saying that? Because you were talking about oh, well, like why, why you would want to convert a job. Oh, why you would want yeah. to convert it? Yeah, mm -hmm. because you want money for the future, and also in my case, it's like oh, I think I'm, I might be short to get my you want your health care. You want your health insurance? So Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'll do yeah. it. And you know, and and any you know that money then goes into help pays into the union and helps to pay to support the union organized help to pay for all the stuff the union does. 
and that you know helps to helps these plans and helps you know that's where your dues come from your dues go to help pay for those things but this helps keep the health care plans alive your pension plans alive yeah i mean you know it takes a little sacrifice to Mm -hmm. make the community better Mm -hmm. and we can't be selfish it's not a good thing Mm -hmm. it's not a good thing to be selfish so that's great so you're able Mm -hmm. so you're a signatory Mm -hmm. and what's the name of the signatory signatory.com what is it (laughs) sbsignatory.com which means what? soundbox signatory.com yep soundbox signatory.com Okay. So it's or sorry sbsignatory.com because we don't people have to type out soundbox and signatory so sbsignatory.com sbsignatory.com oh my goodness yep. are we gonna put all these notes at the bottom of our there. show but okay. you can also always just go to soundbox.la mm-hmm. and that has every all the links to everything else you need so soundbox.la has everything you need I don't know how you you must have a spreadsheet do you like Excel sheets. It's all it's all in your head. It's all in my head. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, so back to producing demos. Mm-hmm. So when you do yeah. that, oh, mm-hmm. go back. No, 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 no. You in Rewind. person. Yeah. And yeah. it's called West, West Coast, Coast Demos. demos. Yep. So you help people find the copy. We write copy. We write it's all custom copy. copy for everybody. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we write. We copy do. Copy meaning the script. Scripts. Yep. We do. We're very boutique. Uh, we look at ourselves. Um, we work with one talent at a time, and we'll work on them for with them for the duration of the project. Help them. Uh, we'll do consultation. Work on them with um, to prep scripts. Do read throughs of the scripts. They get to record at Soundbox LA um, if they're in LA, or we record them remotely if they're um, if far they're far they're far away. Um, all the editing, production, engineering, everything is included in that. So you so. That's wonderful. So check that out fun. if that's yeah. and especially would you say there's anything that you specialize in? Um, yeah, we, we specialize for demos, commercial, promo, and character work. Demos, so. commercial. That's pretty much everything, Tim. We don't necessarily that's- we don't do necessarily like <laughs> you know animation specifically, and mm-hmm. we don't do a lot of so we character don't do, like for video games. Well, mainly video games, um, kind of broad character. Um, we currently work with a lot of talent who are. Who are you calling a broad? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Speaking of a broad, Speaking that's of, the other that. thing I wanted to ask you about. That? You play with a band called mm-hmm. Urban Renewal. The Urban Renewal Project. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and you travel and mm-hmm. play. And, and we now, used to. <laughs> I can't. Well, but uh, yeah. I can't get my head around. I haven't mm-hmm. had the chance to see you play in person. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah. it's a fifteen-piece band. Mm-hmm. That is takes a big yeah. bus. It takes a big bus. Yeah, or a big van, small bus, big van. <laughs> I guess <laughs> a really that. big van because yep, yep. where you put all the instruments. Trailer. So you got a big van, yep. a big trailer. Yep. And and tell people about that. Uh, Urban Renewal Project, urpmusic.com, more acronyms. Not, if, he's not, <laughs> if he's not busy enough engineering or producing demos or recording himself or running a workout group or creating a health insurance plan mm-hmm. or... Converting I, jobs what el- or whatever converting, else it might what, be. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know what else I'm missing. Yeah. You play mm-hmm. in a big band. Hip-hop orchestra. Hip-hop yeah. orchestra. Yep. Funk, well, has Tom, has Tom Kenny seen your band? Uh, we have some of the same musicians. We, oh, really? We, we, yeah, we trade musicians. Tom, we have some of the same sax I have players. seen Tom. I mean, yeah. and I don't know what you call his kind of music. Tom he's Kenny, a, he's a big band. Fun. I guess, yeah, he's like a like a. God, what what would they do? Um, they're like they're a big band. They're horn players, horn section. Wait, I know the name of it. Okay, yeah, so the Tom seas. Kenny, it, Tom Kenny in the high seas, the high seas. and he is. <laughs> SpongeBob school. Oh, is it time for you to go? That's my phone. Look at that. Now, Tim oh, is. Look at that. It's on mute. Oh, it's it's a VIP contact, so that means it apparently oh, it it's unmutes important. my entire phone. That's Carson. Somebody that's Carson you, Beck's. I had a Carson Beck. Somebody wants you to flip or convert yeah. something right yep. now. Yep, that's. that's uh, they need a demo ASAP. About how long does it take <laughs> to make a demo? By the way. From start to finish. Um, Not that we're jumping around. Yeah. Um, you know, we can we try and say about six weeks from six weeks. meaning from the first time we consult with you to the time we get a full demo produced. Okay, um, just to give you an idea, it can you know it could take longer or or shorter. If you're not longer. cooperative, yeah, it could exactly, take it could take longer. forever. <laughs> it could take years if you just can't. Have you ever you like said to somebody, mm-hmm. "Go find someone else"? Yep, this we do. That's working. the first thing we say. 
The first thing we tell people if they come to us is... Go somewhere else. Yes. Go, yeah. oh, go. Yep. Go talk to every other demo producer. Go make right. sure that you have done your research and that when you come to us that you're sure that we're the people you want to work with. Mm, and nice. if we're not, then great, go find somebody else. We want. We don't want to take somebody who's just working with us because they hear that we're the people mm. to work with or because they've heard the name. We want to make sure that we're able a to just do fit. something, a good fit, that we can give them the best thing that they need. Mm -hmm. um, and most of the 90% of the time people come back to us, but 10% you know, of the time people and go somewhere else. that's probably good. That's it's probably great. a good thing. And I, I do great. that too, like mm -hmm. um, when people want certain things. Mm -hmm. I was hesitant to coach, actually. Mm -hmm. Like you said, there's lots of coaches out there until mm -hmm. I realized if somebody really wants to hear what I have to say, mm -hmm. I'm happy to share it. I, yep. I've gotten really good feedback, but I also realized that all the, because I, you know, you think, like probably when you had your studio, is mm. is this? Am I offering the same thing right. other people do? Yeah, am I yeah. good enough? Yeah. And I've mm. I've listened to a lot of my friends who also coach, mm. and they everybody says the same thing, but in a little different way. Right. And so yep. sometimes you know you hear if you hear it from one person, it just makes it more makes sense. sense. Absolutely. And so the yep. same with your studio, you mm. there's going to be oh yeah, I really like the, yeah. the vibe here. Yeah. It works. And good. this is going to be exactly what I want. Or you go, you are like yeah, you know, it's not really what I want. And that's great thing about coaches you know i think it's you know it, it's it's important that talent know they have the ability to not with a, not work with a coach if it's not working for them and it just, just it's because, hard it's yeah. like leaving your hairdresser but you got to yeah. do it sometimes yeah. right yeah and if they're not the right coach for you just because they're because just because a friend had a great you know had a great experience and it worked out right with them they may not speak the same language that exactly. you speak and you may not you may not connect with them in the way that somebody else connected with them. The same thing with you know with me. Like come to my workout group, and you may not connect with with what we're doing. That's fine. Go somewhere else. Find a place that you're going to connect with. That's going to give you what you need. Because the whole point is for the talent to get what they need, not for us to show how good of a producer we are or how good of a director we are. It's the proof is in the talent getting what they need out of it. The talent booking. The I talent, think you know, after. If somebody has watched both these episodes, they're mm -hmm. going to understand that you have people's best interest at heart. We, we and try that's to. a we good to. thing. Uh, yeah. And to know yeah. that, you know, if I'm not, just like when somebody's looking for a voice talent, I always say, here's my, if, if I'm not who you're looking for, and back mm -hmm. to the community, yep. I can recommend a whole bunch five, of exactly. other people. Yep. Absolutely. find what what you need and uh -huh. you know and, and also it's it's not even just about your performance it's about well does this voice sound good with this voice mm -hmm. or this? and it's also about how easy you are to work with and how how well you take direction and if you're somebody that people want to be in the, in that space with you spend a lot of time with you know if you're working on an animated series or something like that you're going to be spending hours in the same space with people and is it somebody you're you don't want, to want it to be time? difficult you no, want it to be no. fun because yes, actually be fun. right the auditions yeah. the hard hard work the yeah. demo producing the writing the yep. all yep. that yep. but getting to work is the fun part so you have mm -hmm. fun with your band let me just say do you have you yeah. made albums with the Earth? uh yeah we got four out four, four out four or five um the last few i played on the previous ones was before i joined the band um what do you play in the band i play guitar but you're a clarinet player. Mm -hmm. They're clarinet. different. Clarinet originally. Inter instrument. Yeah, they all read the same. They read the same notes. So, so like bass, <laughs> like lead or. Um, I, I'm the only guitar. Yeah, lead electric. Yeah, electric guitar. So I'm the, there's one guitar player, one bass player, a drummer, uh, a singer, two MCs. MCs. Uh, rappers. Two rappers. Oh, um, thank you. Yeah. no! I'm gonna introduce. Ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm gonna introduce. No, it's my turn. <laughs> Probably something, something like that. Uh, usually four trumpet players, four saxes, and a couple Whoa. trombones, and then maybe a keyboard player, a percussion player. There's um, only on one singer? One singer. Mm -hmm. Only one? That's all you With need. all those ones. instruments? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody does any do backup? Uh, no. So, uh, sometimes, if we're doing like a recording, maybe we'll bring in some backup singers, but um, usually it's just one singer for live and stuff. Oh my goodness. Now, do you sing mm -hmm. too? I sing a little bit. I have, did put a solo album out a while ago um, that I put out. Of course. Um, What's yeah. that album called? It's called On an Island. That's oh. the name of the band. Really? <laughs> On an Island, Songs from the Back House. If you can find it, or no, it was the Skyline Drive EP. That's what I put out. Um, I don't know where it is, if you can find it somewhere. But it's a bunch of songs I wrote, and I did a solo album myself. That's pretty so, awesome. But not in my studio, because before I had my studio. Before so, you had your studio. In somebody else's studio. So That sounds like a lot of fun. Wow. So was cool. basically, yeah. wherever you turn in voiceover, you will bump into Tim Friedlander eventually someday 
So someday. yeah. Someday. <laughs> and you know what? And basically he just sits around and smiles <laughs> and all this stuff keeps happening. And yeah. and yeah. I just want to thank you for You're all welcome. the cool stuff. I well, mean you, you showed up and like Who's Tim Freed? What, who, what oh, I just it? showed up one day. I, yeah. I, mean, I, sh I shouldn't be here. I just showed up. I'm like, hey, I'm going to start a studio, too, and I'm going to do voiceover. And that was, it's, I mean, we opened to the public. The studio opened to the public four years ago. We opened in 2018 to the public. Uh, and, I mean, we're... The rest is, so, you know... The rest is history, I, 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 I guess. I, I, or but, we're making history. It's still in progress. Yeah, and, and progress. that's what I want to encourage people. If you have a dream... Okay, I did have an, another note. Mm -hmm. What's the fangirl up to this week? To find out, stay tuned till after the credits. Uh, if you guys want to go back and hear his interview with mm. Dan Leonard on VOBS, mm. and I, I've done a few of them. So this is the one that this is the one that was in studio. You're talking about the so one that is, in, is crackly. Yeah, the one that was live in studio yeah. with a yeah. It was it was yeah. It was it was an experiment. But you talked about you know starting over, losing old friends, finding mm -hmm. new friends, making mm -hmm. work up. Did you visualize what you wanted? Nope. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> and that's a legit question because a lot of people no. say you've got to know, nope. and and I don't. Mm -hmm. Actually, necessarily subscribe to that philosophy yeah. either. I think you, you kind, you're like a little mouse in a maze, mm -hmm. and there's cheese somewhere, and you keep following the scent yeah. and finding what you want, and mm -hmm. if you pay your bills along the way, however you have to do that, and mm -hmm. eventually you just keep bumping into these little rewards. Now yeah, that's I, kind yeah. of a weird picture. Well, that's but. a way to do. It. I I I think like like songwriting is like you know I don't have. I, I may pick up a guitar and just start writing something, and I want to see what's going to come out of it. And so that's kind of how I put all this together. I'm like, let's just see, let's see what happens. What have you got to lose? Let's Do you have that kind of philosophy? I mean, I have lots to lose. <laughs> we all have a lot to lose. <laughs> um, but I'm also not afraid to lose it if that if, wow. that, if that comes down and to it. And that's very know? courageous. So that's yeah. bold. Um, that's bold. I think I've lost things already, so uh, to lose more is not, you know. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I think so. you know. My father used to say, I don't talk about him much. He was actually a, in the financial business. Mm -hmm. He'd say, the best thing somebody can do is file for bankruptcy. Right. He goes, once they've done that, it, they, the like, does something, <laughs> it does something to their character, which yep. like to me, was yeah. I was appalled uh, mm -hmm. to hear him say that. But he, when he would, because he would hire people, he worked at uh, um, a lot of uh, stock brokerage firms. And, he said if they had that, it wasn't a negative thing to him. If right, they had yeah. survived and come back, he admired mm -hmm. that about people. Yeah, I mean, if you've, hit, if you've hit the bottom, you're not afraid of being back there again, you know? I mean, I don't want to be well, back there again. But I that's, hope you, know. you have. I don't know what the <laughs> bottom looks like, and I'm not going to ask. But yeah. but, yeah, I'm glad you're where you are. I'm just looking Thanks. over and see if there's mm -hmm. anything yeah. I forgot see anything we need. to mm -hmm. ask you. Like, what services does Soundbox LA provide? Mm -hmm. Everything, it sounds mm -hmm. like. With... Mm -hmm. UBC. Oh, well, this is actually interesting because this was. Oh. So we, we built our studio in six days. We booked a. Yeah, so the studio. Oh, that's what I wanted yeah. to find out because yep. I thought, why does anybody have to build a studio and in right six days? Right now, we are um, starting this evening. We're starting the rebuild of phase four, which we're going to do in four days. <laughs> so of your studio? Of my studio. We're going to rebuild the, the whole one studio. on Gardner Street? Yep. Yep. So we in okay, 20. What the heck is going so on? it would have been 20, I guess 2018. Um, I, I, got, I got work. I got a lot of work out of my studio because I was, as the voice actor, they were like, wow, your studio sounds great. Can we have, I, I connected with a, a production company in the UK and they said, you know, if we have other talent in LA, in LA can we send them to your studio? And I was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. Um, and so for a while they're talking about sending, they wanted to book out the studio and they booked it out for six months. And they booked out a video game and we did Critical Role. They which, booked your studio for mm -hmm. six months mm -hmm. straight, like eight hours a day. How about that, yeah. Wow. yeah. Um, which meant then that Did you have to be the engineer for I was the engineer hours for all that. Yep, yep. Did that for for ended up being close to probably close to a year over the course of a year that we did that. Um but yeah, it was critical role if anybody uh, uh, critical role was the crew, but it was Pillars of Eternity two was the game. Critical role was Matt Mercer and um all of those Talos and Jaffe and everybody else in that crew. Look you know at, who they are. You can You'll tell by people, my face. People who know who they are know who they are. Yes, um, yes. And they'll they'll look them up. So they so they booked out six months, and you know we used to have to stop cool on Tuesdays between twelve and two. We can't record because the lawnmower is going to be next door, and we had a booth, but it wasn't built. Um, it, it, the the booth was built before I got into the space, and it wasn't built correctly. So 
we we basically they were like, yep, we're gonna do it, and we want to start. But they said week. your booth sounded great. So what was well? It sounded great. It, it sounded great, but it wasn't soundproof. And so there's there's sound treatment and there's soundproofing, and the booth was treated well, but not soundproof. Right, like my booth yeah. is quiet if mm-hmm. it's quiet. If an airplane flies over, it's exactly. not quiet yep. anymore. Yep, exactly. So we, I couldn't say great, but we're gonna have to stop for two hours on every other Tuesday and an alternate Wednesday for the gardener, and maybe on a Thursday if the if the garbage truck spends a long time out front. If there's so, a holiday, it'll be a different day. Exactly. Yeah. So we spent we started on on a Friday Friday afternoon. And rebuilt the entire studio, rebuilt it from the inside. So what, inside where did the six days come from? We were done by Wednesday. No, but I mean, how no. did you, why did you have to get it done by six because days? Because on Thursday I we guess. started recording the video game. So they put the bo- thing and you said, okay, this is before the six months started? Yeah, this was, this oh, okay. was before so the project started. you just started. knew. They said, yeah. we love your booth. And you were just afraid that you would have to shut it down. So you said, you know what? I got to redo no, this. No, we, we that was part of it was being contingent on, on rebuilding. Did they pay yeah. for it? No, I paid for it. I paid for it, but it paid, paid, off, paid itself off. But you do it yourself. It's not. Because you know, it takes money to make money. It does take money to make money. Yeah. But it's not that expensive, really. If you do it well and you do it right, you can do it We have a lot of beer, a lot of pizza. A lot, a lot of people. To enjoy the full episode. Please support us at patreon.com slash tell you later. Thanks a lot yeah, of words. <laughs> Time for some more water. If there's anything else, I promise we'll tell, tell you later. later. Tell You Later is a Patreon-driven entertainment show. So what are you waiting for? Come on over. Join us at patreon.com front slash tell you later. Languid Fiddle. Maybe so. It's Jason Whitaker. He's one of my favorite characters, like, of all time. I wonder if maybe someday I'll get to meet Townsend Coleman. That would be so cool. Oh, and look at this. It's the plane. I wonder if, oh, yeah, it's the last chance detectives. Here we go.